Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 19th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather forecast. Having a look at the last 48 hours on the sun, large plasma filaments lifting from the top left part of our sun as we did have a backside CME eject from the sun right around that region. Plasma filament lifting bottom southeast as well. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Two active bright regions, not necessarily sunspots yet, but the one on the left is looking pretty complex already. Outgoing imagery here. Still observing the M-class solar flare on the left, as well as minor B and C-class flares from the little spot right next to it. As well as southern regions staying active. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, all of the last 48 hours events, large plasma rope, southwest region of the sun as well, coronal hole developing right there. Another quick look at the sunspots in infrared. The complexity in the magnetic fields. And have a look here at ISWA space prediction. You can see small CME ejected from the backside of the sun out towards the Parker Solar Probe. Solar X-ray flux remains in B-class range. Geomagnetic activity down after being elevated to KP6 last night as we were well over 600 kilometers per second. Starting to calm down now, 554, but 680 kilometers per second we topped out at, and that's been very active for about 36 hours. Most notable here is the density particles, upped up to about 13, and as well, the temperature up to 5. Geospace magnetic magnetosphere. This time we're going to look at the pressure. So this is showing the pressure from the solar wind on our planet. Schumann resonance for today, a power of nine. Nothing major to report there. Power of nine, quality 7.8. So it's bang on to what we want. Everything's in green. Let's have a look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours. Pretty busy planet right now, looking over 250 earthquakes the last 24 hours, according to USGS. We're going to start out here in Indonesia, where we still have some activity around the Banda Sea area. 5.3 there, Indonesia, 4.9 in Katabu, 4.7 as well, Bima, Indonesia. 5.0 reported here, just south of Thailand, and that was yesterday. 4.2 Japan, this was yesterday as well. 4.4 NAMI. Let's just get here the last 24 hours across the planet. There we go. As well, a 4.4 here to report in Gangwon, China, 10 kilometer depth. 4.4 here, Afghanistan, Ashasham. As well, Iran with a 4.6 here, 10 kilometer depth, quiet across the European plate. Rare earthquake here, 5.4 southwest of Africa into the Antarctic plate. South America active today, Libu 4.8, as well 4.2 here, Kalima. And most notable here, 4.8 in Venezuela, 105 kilometer depth. 4.6 there in Yopal, Colombia. 4.2 Ecuador. So many active volcanoes in the region and as well, many showing signs of unrest just south of Dominican Republic through the Virgin Islands. Cruz Bay there, 4.0, 4.0 Dominican Republic. Heads up, there are four volcanoes in the area showing signs of unrest. Overlooking North American Plate, White City, New Mexico, 2.9. As well, Virginia City, Montana, 2.9. A 
minor earthquakes around Yellowstone, 4.6 here in Greenland. Other than that, not much to report here, but I wanted to show you here the last 24 hours for earthquakes north of Yellowstone and west. Minor activity at, at best, but it has been increasing recently. Also going to give you a quick show here, the last 30 days, all magnitude across the United States. Just a quick glimpse as to what's going on across the North American plate right now, especially when it comes to the new Madrid. Lots of new minor activity east of the mountain range, up into Virginia. But we're showing here about 9,100 earthquakes in the last 30 days, just in this viewing region. We'll carry on here. Minor activity through Chiniac, Alaska, 3.4. Watch for that to increase over the next 24 hours. Kamchatsky, 4.5. Russia, 2.5 there. Not much to report. Hawaii, except the caldera is well alive again, has filled back up. Draining pretty much after the large Tonga eruption, I'm sure. 4.5 here, 534 kilometer depth, Fiji. So that's the deepest last 24 hours. As well at 4.6 there, Kermadec Islands. This was yesterday. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. A quick browse at the last seven days across the world. Quiet, to say the least, through North American plate as well Europe. Most of the activity through central regions and the southern hemisphere. For seismicity and volcanism. So heads up, stay aware, prepared, as well as stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Thanks everybody for watching. If you've made it this far, don't forget to hit the like button. Please share with your friends and family from around the world. Let's have a quick look at volcanoes getting updated for today and as well satellite imagery. Sangue in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Hunga Tonga Hunga, of course in Tonga. Now, something I wanted to show you guys here. I showed you guys satellite imagery of this large eruption. We're going to quickly show it again here. It's some in slow motion. Now, the initial eruption here on, started on the 13th. That was the 13th into 14th eruption in the Hunga Tonga volcano. But it was on the 15th, which was the big, big one which caused shock waves across the planet and as well totally obliterated the island. There is nothing left of it. The sediment is now spreading across the ocean floor around the volcano and the ash, SO2 and debris is encompassing our planet. This was one of the largest eruptions documented in our time. Honga Tonga, making history with the force 10 times of that of any atomic bomb that has been dropped. And having a look here at the SO2 models since, and they have changed, but look how much is going into the Southern Hemisphere and as well Australia, all moving westward towards Africa. We'll carry on here with Fuego in Guatemala, Nevadas to Chile in Colombia, Raventador in Ecuador, Swiss in Ajima, Japan, Nevadas to Ruiz, Colombia, Era in Japan, and a newer one here, Turiabla, Costa Rica, has awakened. So that's now 50, everybody. Yes, sir. Vanuatu as well, Karamiski, Russia, Semeru, Indonesia, Shevelich, Russia. And that is all of the volcanic activity according to Pacific Disaster Center and as well daily events worldwide reporting 50 volcanoes erupting across the planet. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by daily events worldwide and Meteor Earth. 
starting out here, home base Ontario, where, yeah, the deep freeze is on its way. Extreme cold weather event for Ontario and Quebec, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and as well, the United States. Watch for these cold temps, minus double digits in some areas, and big high-pressure ridge, which will be drying things out this week. We were expecting some snow for an Alberta clipper, but it looks like it's going to head north. Alberta clipper there. Moving into the Hudson Bay and then eastward. Extreme cold conditions through Manitoba into Saskatchewan. But look at Alberta. Big Chinook moving in for Saturday, Sunday into Monday. Get colder again. And then another big system developing. We could have a monster nor'easter in the long range forecast. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide. As forecasts can change daily, hourly sometimes. Overlooking the Atlantic, big system here developing and being drawn up from the equator. Most likely will head into Europe for the long range forecast. And then we have that big winter storm heading into Eastern Europe. And at the center of the low heading right over the Norways. As well, Greenland getting smashed with a winter storm. Sweden, Finland, and then into Ukraine here. We've got another system heading south into the Red Sea. Turkey will be seeing an extreme snowfall amount or event in the next four days as well. Looking at about 350 centimeters of snow to fall in the next five days. Low pressure system here grinding up into Pakistan and will head eastward along the Mongolian mountains and then back out to China. Deep lower level trough would not let it get over the mountains. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, atmospheric line of moisture there from those very large and strong low pressure systems that are spinning through the Pacific right now. Heading into Alaska, long range. Watch for an uptick in seismicity through Alaska. We also have a tropical storm here developing for Merida. Philippines in the long range here. Sunday into Monday could be Category 1. As well, Australia here. You could have a tropical system heading into Northern Territory. Long range forecast, but a lot of spotty showers and extreme weather through central regions. Australia, tropical depression here heading towards New Zealand. Another one developing east of Auckland. No weather systems heading towards Hawaii. But an interesting low developing here and being drawn northward. Kind of like the same thing happening in the Atlantic. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains. Watch for heavy snowfall amounts through Chile. As well Paraguay. Higher elevations. Extreme heat through Argentina. And a trapped low. So watch for extreme weather event. And then Madagascar. You do have a tropical system on your doorstep. Coming to you Saturday into Sunday. Right across Madagascar and heading into Zimbabwe. For the long range. So watch flash flood alerts. For Africa and Madagascar. Long line of moisture here along the equator. Going to leave you here looking at. The southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major lows of spending across our planet right now. Another little addition here, just show you the wind as it is encompassing all of these low pressure systems and high pressure. Low pressure bringing rain, high pressure, dry skies. Thanks everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.